What is going on guys, Joe here back with another video and today we'll be taking a look at some new features that have been added to iOS 10 beta 3. Now if you haven't seen the major features iOS 10 will be bringing, be sure to check out the videos linked in the description below. Those will show you exactly what to expect with iOS 10 that is set to release in the fall. First, we'll start with the lock screen, something that we had available in iOS 9 and with the Touch ID feature on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus was the quickness when unlocking. Literally, if you blinked, you pretty much missed all of your notifications when unlocking your device. Now with iOS 10, you have the race to wake feature, which will wake up your device, allowing you to glance at your notifications without having to press the home button and then accidentally bypassing the lock screen and you miss your notifications. If you want to unlock your device now, you will need to press the home button in iOS 10. But in beta 3, having the raise to wake feature, then simply resting your finger on the home button will unlock your iPhone. No longer will you need to press the home button to unlock the device, but in order to get this feature, you will need to turn it on by going into the settings app, general accessibility, and on the home button settings, go ahead and enable the rest finger to open option. This feature was actually in beta 2, but it wasn't working quite yet. Now in beta 3, it's now fully functional. Now another thing when it comes to locking your device in beta 3, there's a new feature that will give you a slight haptic feedback notifying you when it is locked. So when pressing the lock button, a slight vibration will be felt, but along with the haptic feedback, we also have a new lock sound. And speaking of sounds, the keyboard clicks from beta 1 is now back as well, which I am actually a fan of. Now, if you are one of the millions who are playing Pokemon Go right now, you'll be happy to know Beta 3 supports the AR feature, so go on and catch your Pokemon with the augmented reality turned on. So when it comes to the new widgets feature in iOS 10, up until Beta 3, they weren't loading quite as fast. So with this new beta, it actually has solved that issue and loads a lot quicker. As far as the music application, it did get a redesign with the initial release of iOS 10 beta 1, but ever since then, there have been improving it little by little, and in beta 3, you're now able to clear your recent searches when in the search tab. Also in the library tab, the downloaded music section has been removed from the list, but you can actually get that back simply by tapping on edit on the top right, and then selecting downloaded music so you can see that on the list once again. Now speaking about applications, the Mail app also got a little tweak that I found that allows you to quickly navigate through conversations in the same thread. So if you reply to somebody, they reply back, then it'll be in the same thread and you can simply tap on the top arrows, either left or right, and then it'll automatically scroll to the next conversation or the next reply just by tapping on those arrows. Also, when you are in an application in iOS 10 beta 3, there's a new little animation when bringing down the notification center. So as you can see the difference here, I'm running the iOS 10 public beta on my iPhone SE on the right. And then on my left, I have the iOS 10 beta 3 version. So that's a slight little tweak to the notification center. Also, again, when you pull down notification center, you now get a haptic feedback. So you will feel a slight vibration. Now the last feature I want to cover is the fact that iOS 10 has enabled a feature warning you that your device may have water damage. So as seen here, the lightning port has an indicator that will detect liquid. So this could lead to the fact that the next iPhone will more than likely have a water resistance feature, which is more than welcomed. But these are going to be some of the new features you can expect on iOS 10 when it is available. Now there are a little bit more features and tweaks available with the new beta version, but these are the ones that I found interesting and thought you should know about. Now if you have found other tweaks or features that you may find interesting, definitely leave me a comment down below. I'm interested in checking those out for sure. Anyways guys, as always, if you did enjoy this video and want future iOS 10 related content along with other tech videos, let me know by hitting that like button. It definitely does support the channel very much. Also, if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and Google+, all of my links will be down below in the description. That way you can stay up to date with what is going on and also catch some behind the scenes action. 
And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. There will be more iOS 10 coverage as it comes out along with other tech videos. So do stay tuned. But other than that, thanks a lot for watching guys. Really appreciate your support very much, but uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.